Hello there everyone and welcome to a new review on the channel. Today we're going to be looking at Cylinder and Coins by Joshua J and Vanishing Ink Magic. Now this is a product that I bought quite a long time ago, around in November when it almost released and I've yet to receive it until early this week. So with that, I'm making a review on it. I wanted to review this and I've wanted to play around with it in order to give you as much information as you need in order to know if this is for you. So let's roll the intro and get straight into the review. Perfect, so you decided to stick around, which means you want to learn more about cylinder and coins. Now, what is cylinder and coins? It's essentially the classic routine of cylinder and coins, mainstreamed according to Joshua's J's interpretation of the effect. Now, for those that don't know what the routine is, I'll have a performance of myself doing the routine here. Now, if I don't find that the performance looks as good as I would want to, I'll just put a link to Joshua J's performance right in the description and you could see that. Nonetheless, let's continue with the review. Joshua J's performance of the effect. Let's get into the meat of the review. So first of all, where do you buy this? How much does it cost? And what do you get? So you can buy this at Vanishing Ink or some other stores they're affiliated with, such as Van uh, such as Alakazam Magic, for example. And you can buy this product. It will set you back 175 USD. And what you get is this box. And inside this box, there's quite a few things. First of all, there's the instructional video inside of the box, which is 43 minutes long with Joshua J in his studio or his home. I don't really know where he explains to you the history of the effect, the inspiration, why he changed certain things, why he didn't, and the updates that he did, as well as every move, every technique, everything that you need to know to put this in place. You also get a bonus video teaching you how to use and how to load your glasses, okay? You get a tutorial for that. And you also get a PDF teaching you how to make a holdout for your, um, for your switch that goes on at a moment in the routine. We'll talk about that in a moment. 
If you have a 3D printer or you have someone with a 3D printer, he gives you the file for that as well. So that is what you get video wise, what you get in terms of material. So what you get in terms of material, you get two of these glasses. One is refillable, one is not. This is the refillable one. And as I mentioned with the video, you can put whatever you want in it. You can put wine, you can put water with food coloring, whatever you want. I decided to just put some rum that I had left over in the house in order to get the glass done. Then you also get two rings. You get two rings that are size 10. I have really big hands and it kind of fits. This is definitely not a ring I would wear every day because it would hurt, but for the purpose of the presentation that is like three, three to four minutes long, I can definitely just have this ring on my hand and it fits on my first finger, no issue, and you get two of those. Then you also get a coin purse, which is made, I think, out of real or vegan leather, but it's a really beautiful and nice coin purse. This doesn't have any gimmicks with it whatsoever, but it is a really nice coin purse. Then you also get uh, certain things to help you build your cylinder bill, depending where you are in the world, it's gonna be different. So for example, if you're Canadian, we have a benefit for once when it comes to magic because our bills do not need the extra material that are provided here. So he provides, if you do this with US bills, you're gonna need to double up your US bill and add some things to the bill in order to keep it, to keep it in the cylinder shape. So the bill is essentially gimmicked. But if you're from Canada, I don't even think you can see the gimmick that I did on there. Spoiler alert is just some double sided tape in order to keep it as a, a cylinder. And if you want, you could uh, do with um, a paper clip. I know some people like to do that, but with me, I just did some, uh, some double sided tape. So you get some of the, you get that in the package as well. And then you also get your stack of coins, which is of course modular. That's the big thing that he added. You can remove one of the coins and place it back. Now, I know there's some controversy regarding that, that the stack is actually four coins and you're doing the trick with three coins. So people are gonna notice, but trust me, I've performed this a few times and no one actually notices, right? They're just there to see the coins appear. You just show it, you, do, you go back into the routine. They barely even see it for more than maybe 10 or 15 seconds and their brain is not even gonna notice. And if you want to do it with just three coins, of course, you can have your static stack, which does not move with just three coins if you so wish, right? So that is available to you as well. And then you get, of course, your big gimmick, which is, I won't show it, of course, but it's the triad coin. For those that know the original triad coins, there's the same handling, the same maneuvers, the same exact things, as the normal triad coins just made in Morgan dollar. It's beautifully made. As you can see, it has some weight to it. It has some glimmer to it. It has some shine. It is very, very well done. So that's essentially what you get with your purchase of the cylinder and coins. So the instructions and all of the items that I discussed here with you. So now that's out of the way, let's get into the difficulty of the effect. Is this effect easy or is it difficult to perform? Well, this is not an easy routine, but it's not a difficult one at that. It's, I would say, intermediate, okay? And it's intermediate because the slides are easy, the moves are easy, but you do need to do some switches, you do need to do the slides well, which I don't even think I do that well. So you have to do the slides well, the moves well, the justification, and you need to remember the routining of it. So it's not an easy beginner routine, but it's also not knuckle busting where you have to hold out coins and palms and grips and do like showings like this with the JW grip, nothing like that. It's really, really simple. The gimmicks do most of the work for you. You just have to work a bit with the gimmicks themselves and get accustomed with the routine. So nothing too hard, but it's also not something you're just gonna buy and you're gonna go out to perform 100% with no error, completely fluid, okay? So you will have to work a bit on that. Now I've mentioned here a bit of, with the difficulty and also beforehand, that there's a switch involved. And yes, there's a switch, and that is with the bill to ring in the gimmick, because you have to ring in your gimmick, right? Of the cylinder and coins. So. The switch that he teaches you, and I've seen this in a review as well by Craig Petty, the two switches are okay. What There's one on the table that he teaches you, which is okay, it's not incredible, it's a bit angly. And then there's another one that he teaches you with the device that you can 3D print, 
which is probably the best. That's kind of the one that I used in this performance, in the performance that I did. I don't know if you're gonna see it or not, but even in the performance that Joshua J does, if I do link it down below, is the one with the additional thing that you can get to switch, okay? So you will need to practice that as well, which makes this routine, as I mentioned, it's simple in its core, but it has a lot of moving parts and a lot of moving things that don't make it as easy as, you know, a beginner would handle it. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about practicality. Is this routine practical? And honestly, I cannot answer that without also talking about the next section, which is where to perform, because the practicality of this routine is not very practical for 80% of performers. So if you don't perform stage, if you don't perform parlor, or if you don't perform in kind of like dedicated table where you have your table, you're set up and you're there for the night and people come to you, or if you're going to someone's house and they set up like their dinner table for you and they organize people around you, then you're good. But I know a lot of people don't perform like that. A lot of people perform, perform table hopping, restaurants, weddings, you know, where you move from table to table, cocktails, street bars with their friends or restaurants, right? And for all of those people, this effect is not practical at all. Okay, so if you want to do the main routine of the cylinder and coins, this is not practical at all. Okay, because you will have to carry around your gimmick to do the switch. You're going to have to carry on. Even if you want to do the other switch he teaches you, you need a napkin, like a cloth. You're going to have to carry that with you. You're going to need to carry your load. You're going to need to carry your rings. You're going to need to carry your gimmicks. You're going to need to carry your stack, the coin purse, the, the gimmick bill, everything. So it's not practical. And you can't, in my opinion, you can't even get away with this table hopping. Okay. However, you can do the tribe coins routine. So if you buy this, you can definitely do the triad coins routine that Joshua J has published years ago with the Morgan dollar coins. So it's not that you can never perform this if you're not in that situation. You can definitely use the triad coins, the Morgan dollar version for routines, close up, table hopping or anywhere, right? And triad coins, the normal version is like 55 bucks. And here you're getting a Morgan dollar version, which in my opinion is it's even better. And I honestly feel that the gimmicks here are built even better than the normal set of triad coins. So you're definitely getting some value here. If you're a table performer and you go from table to table, it's not that you're gonna buy this and just bid it. You can definitely do the triad coin routine with this uh, set of triad coins, right? But you won't be able to do the cylinder and coins. However, if you do perform parlor, if you do have settings like a table or somewhere where you can perform with where you are kind of handling the environment, you're seated here and the spectators are in front of you, then you can definitely do this routine, no problem, because you're in control, people are in front of you, and you are good to go, right? So practicality-wise and performance-wise, it really depends. If you perform street, table hopping, bars, cocktails, anything where you have to move around and you don't have your designated space, you can use the try points from this set to do routines. So you're not just going to buy this and not be able to do anything. So you, you are able to do the try points, no issue. However, then if you have a parlor setting, a designate space, etc., you can do this routine with no issue, no problem. It's going to work well in those scenarios. So I really wanted to wrap that up and also tell you that, yes, this can be performed, the triad coins routine. You won't be able to do the cylinder coins, but you will be able to do the triad coins in any setting with the set that you get. And I wanted to mention that because I do feel it needs mentioning because people don't really talk about it because if you don't own triad coins and you buy this, you can literally just use the Morgan dollar triad coins and do this effect, which they're charging 300 bucks for those, by the way, if you want to buy just the Morgan dollar coins, the triad version is 300 bucks on the vanishing Moon website. And here you're getting them in the set with the cylinder and coins for 175. So I just wanted to mention that. But now that that's out of the way, let's get into the positives and negatives of cylinder and coins. So first of all, what are the negatives of cylinder and coins? First of all, one of the main negatives is, of course, the performing and the practicality of it. You do have to carry around a lot of things and you do have to need, you will have to have a designated space in order to perform it. And a lot of people don't have that. So if you want to do just the cylinder and coins that are not interested in the triad coins or you have your other routines to do the same effects as triad coins, then maybe you're going to hit a major roadblock with this because you can't just pull this out and do it at a moment's notice. Second of all is also the stack. Some people are really adamant 
that having four coins instead of three is a major issue. Now, of course, as I said, if you're really hell bent on that, you can just remove one coin and have your static stack of coins. Even then, this stack looks incredible and it handles incredibly, incredibly well. So that is pretty much all I have to say about the negatives, as well as, of course, the switch that I feel even in the tutorial, and I agree with other reviewers such as Craig Petty on this, that the switches that he teaches aren't that incredible and not that good. So you will have to work a bit with your scenarios. And of course, if you want to build a 3D printed one, you will have to work a bit in order to get the switch and the introduction of your stack of coins onto the mat to progress with the routine. Okay. So what are now the positives of cylinder and coins? What are the positives of this? Positive number one, the instructions are very, are very, very good. The effect, in my opinion, is very, very good. I know some people don't like the, the modern twist that he did with the bill, with the ring, and having the wand, and I know some people really enjoy that. But as he mentions in the tutorial, if you enjoy that and you buy the set, you can still use a wand, you can still use a cork, you can do whatever you want, because you will have a really beautiful set of coins and a beautiful stack and a load for you to be able to do the effect, and you can still do it with your wand, however you want. He even gives you resources if you want, if you don't like the way he presents it, for you to go out to look at Michael Vincent's uh, Cylinder and Coins, for example, and do that routine with these gimmicks, right? So there's that as well. It's also very, very well built. The stack of coins is quality. The triad coins is quality. Everything you're getting here is quality. Yes, the price is steep, but if you look at other versions of Cylinder and Coins, which are the older ones, they're still going to set you back around the same price or even more. I've looked online and some sets are even like 250 bucks and they're the older ones with this, with the normal cylinder, with the half dollars, etc. So, you know, the price is expensive, but what you're getting is really, really quality. The routine is also not super hard, but not super easy to perform, but it is accessible. If you work on it just a bit, you'll be able to do it. So it's also an accessible routine. It's modular. As I mentioned, you can change it and it's pretty easy to do. So now that's out, now that we've talked about everything, would I recommend Cylinder and Coins and what do I give it on 10? So would I recommend Cylinder and Coins? I'm half and half. First, if you already own a Cylinder and Coins set, in my opinion, there's no purpose in getting this one because you already own the gimmicks, you already own the routines, the moves, everything. And if you do want to change that routine to make it a bit more streamlined, I'm sure with just a bit of brainstorming, you can make a cylinder out of your currency and you can get a, a, a ring in order to put it on your hand and have that instead of a core. So you really don't need this set if you already own cylinder and coins from wherever you have it or if you had it built for you, gifted for you, whatever. If you already own a set of this, maybe this isn't going to be as attracting to you. Also, of course, if you don't like coin magic and you don't like the routine itself, then probably don't buy this. However, if you don't own already a set of cylinder and coins, you like the routine of cylinder and coins, and you want a set that you're going to have for a very, very long time and a set that is very, very good, then I do think this is great. For example, for myself, I do not own a cylinder and coin set before this one. And I bought this one because I really liked the routine. I wanted to learn it and I wanted to work a bit on it. And to me, this was worth it. Yes, the price was steep, but this is probably going to last me a lifetime. And even though I'm not going to perform it all the time, I will maybe find some use or some situations where we'll be able to perform the actual routine. And if not, I have a great set of Triad Coin Morgan gimmicks to do the Triad Coins effect, which is beautiful in my opinion. So I would recommend it in that case. So what would I give Triad Coins on 10? I would give it an eight on 10. It's good, it's great, it works, it's quality. However, there are some major drawbacks, as I mentioned. I will have to search for the specific environment to do it. It's not something I'm going to be able to do all the time, but it's definitely something that I want to use. I want to perform and I hopefully I get the situation to perform it in. And if I don't, at least I have the Triad Coins Morgan set and I can work with that. So it's definitely not perfect. It's definitely not for everyone, but it is very good. It is what you expect from Vanishing Ink. And I do think it's a good little product. So an eight on 10 for me on Cylinder and Coins. So thank you everyone so much for watching. I appreciate it. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe. Tell me what you think about this. Tell me what you feel of this set because there's been discussions. There's been people going back and forth. Is this good? Is this bad? And they've been clashing about it. I think it's pretty good for what it offers. So make sure to tell me, of course, and again, like, subscribe and all of the good stuff and see everyone in my next video.
Bye-bye and have a good weekend.